एनेटमी एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ जीनोम्स एनेटमी ऑफ डिफरेंट जीनोम्स डिफर फ्रॉम ईच अदर लाइक द जीनोम ऑफ द प्रो कैरियोर्स दे सिग्निफिकेंटली डिफर फ्रॉम द जीनोम्स ऑफ द यू कैरियोर्स द साइज ऑफ द जीनोम्स दैट कैन डिफर अप टू वन हंड्रेड टाइम्स बिटवीन द जीनोम्स ऑफ द प्रो कैरियोर्स एंड द जीनोम्स ऑफ द यू कैरियोर्स देर कैन बी डिफरेंस बिटवीन द स्पीशीज ऑफ द यू कैरियोर्स अप टू थर्टी टाइम्स इन द जीनोम्स ऑफ डिफरेंट स्पीशीज ऑफ द यू कैरियोर्स there is as it have been mentioned that there is a great difference in the number of genes and in the organization of the genomes between the genome of the prokaryotes and the genome of the eukaryotes here is the example that in case of humans we see that there are 23000 genes on the human genome while in case of prokaryotes or bacterial genomes the number of genes can be 1500 up to 2000 genes which are present on different genomes of the prokaryotes or the bacterial genomes eukaryotic genomes are full of simple repeats numerous type of the transposable elements and other sequences such sequences usually are not seen in case of prokaryotic genomes prokaryotes have a few repeats and transposable elements and their genome consists of mainly the genes so this is the difference between the genome of the prokaryotes and the genome of the eukaryotes that in case of prokaryotes the most part of the genomes consist of the genes although there are little number of or few number of repeats which are also seen in the genomes of the prokaryotes but in case of eukaryotes the major part of the genomes consist of repeated dna this is example of the genome anatomy of human chromosome 7 here we can see that in case of a, hu a human chromosome 7 that there is a gene the gene the name of that gene is try4 this gene is located here in addition to this gene in the same segment of human chromosome 7 we can see that there are two gene segments named v28 and v29 here we can see v28 and here we can see v29 so there is a gene in addition to this gene there are two gene segments gene segment v28 and gene segment v29 in addition to two gene segments we can also see that there is one pseudo gene try5 so here we can see that in the same location in the same area of the uh, human chromosome 7 there is a gene uh, try5 this is a pseudo gene so there are 52 genome wide repeat sequences that can be seen here so these are all uh, repeat sequences either in the form of lines in the form of signs or in the form of ltrs so we can see that there are lines signs ltr and dna transposons so lines so these are the lines we can see here that these are the lines we can see that there are signs which is in green color these are the signs which are also repeated dna sequences and we can also see ltr regions so ltr regions they are also present in the same segment of human chromosome 7 in addition to all above there are two microsatellites microsatellite which is a mark with uh, uh, yellow color so here is a uh, uh, microsatellite 1 and here is microsatellite 2 so this is just a small uh, portion of human chromosome 7 
in human chromosome 7 we can see that there is a gene there are two gene segments there is one pseudo gene there are approximately 52 genome wide repeats which can be in the form of line sign ltr and dna transposons in addition to there are two microsatellite markers so this is the example of genome anatomy in case of eukaryotes how the genomes are organized genome consists of dna as well as the proteins which are called as histone proteins and the dna and the histone proteins they form the nucleosomes and after the packaging of the nucleosomes ultimately uh, the structures are uh, produced those structures are called as chromosomes this part has already been described in the section of genetics genome organization in case of humans we can see here that these are the human chromosomes chromosome 1 till 7 and x chromosome here we can see that this is the uh, uh, centromere centromere then there are repeat dna sequences then constitutive heterochromatin here we can see that on chromosome 1 there is constitutive heterochromatin which is present on chromosome 1 we can see on chromosome uh, 3 and uh, in chromosome 4 other examples of the other human chromosomes we can see here that the centromeres are then constitutive chromos uh, heterochromatin on chromosome 9 chromosome 13 14 15 and ad in addition to constitutive heterochromatin we can also see repeated dna regions which are present on chromosome 13 14 and 15 another example of the other chromosomes of the human here we can see in case of a human y chromosome most part of the y chromosome of the humans consists of constitutive heterochromatin this is the comparison of the genome organization in different prokaryotes we can see here the species uh, e coli then vibrio uh, cholerae and uh, and here we can see the genome organization the number of the size of the genome and the number of the genes which are present on different genomes in case of prokaryotes genome organization in case of prokaryotes like here mycoplasma streptococcus and the size of the genome uh, 0.58 mb and the number of approximate genes which are present on the mycoplasma so these are other examples of all the of different species of the prokaryotes the size of the genome of different species and the number of the genes which are present on different prokaryotic species and other example between different taxa like fungi protozoa and invertebrates so we can see here in case of fungi and the size of the genomes in case of protozoa the size of the genome and in case of invertebrates this is the size of the genome so there is a great difference a large difference in the genome size of different species in case of fungi in case of protozoa or in case of invertebrates genome organization comparisons in case of vertebrates and in case of plants here we, we can see that in case of vertebrates the name of the vertebrates and the size of the genome here the example of homo sapien and the example of the mouse and the size of their genomes in case of plants we can see different species the different plant species like here the oryza styva rice which is also called as rice then z maize which is also called as maize or corn then p and the size of their genomes 466 2500 and 4800 mb of their genomes respectively genome organization between human yeast fruit fly and maize this is a comparison between the genomes of human yeast fruit fly and maize this is the 
a fragment of human genome this is a human genome this is the yeast genome this is the fruit fly in other words drosophila melanogaster and the genome of the fruit fly and genome of the maize so when we do the comparison between the genomes of different species we can see here that uh, exon and introns in case of humans we have just seen that there is a single gene on the entire fragment of the human genome while in case of yeast we can see there are many genes or there are many exons on present on the yeast genome while in case of drosophila we can see that there are many exons which are present on the drosophila genome and in case of maize we can see just a single exon or a single gene which is present on the fragment of the genome of maize the other comparison can be performed between the lines signs ltr elements dna transposons other genome wide repeats and microsatellite transfer rna so from this comparison we can conclude that most most part of the most part of the genome of yeast is coding while very less part of the genome of human is coding most of them they are repeated consist of repeated sequence either in the form of lines signs or ltr regions and in case of maize we can see that most part of the genome of maize consist of repeated sequences particularly ltr elements so these are our ltr elements we can see here so this is comparison between four different species a uh, human yeast fruit fly and maize compactness of the genomes there is also difference or there is also a comparison between the compactness of the genomes at uh, concerning the gene density concerning the intron per genes and amount of genome that is taken up by genome wide repeats in case of yeast we can see that that is 496 in case of fruit fly the gene density is 76 and in case of humans the gene density is 11 mean in 1 mb of the genome of yeast there are 496 genes in case of fruit fly there are 76 genes and in case of humans there are 11 genes same is in case of introns per gene so in case of introns uh, there is a less frequency in case of yeast in case of fruit fly there are 3 uh, introns per gene while in case of humans there are 11 introns per gene and this is the comparison of the amount of genome 3.4% 12% and 44% genome consist of a genome wide repeats or we can say that the repeated dna sequence if we conclude about the anatomy and the organization of the genomes we can say that anatomy of different genomes differ from each other eukaryote and prokaryote genomes they differ from each other because in case of prokaryotes the gene density is high a while in case of eukaryotes the gene density is less and same there can be comparison between the introns as well as of uh, those sequences which are called as repeated uh, sequences